Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that video of a comparison of some con trombones. The first was my 1966 Elkhart 88H Bell with a dual bore slide that goes 4762, so it's tenor to bass. Um, and the M for Marcellus lead pipe. And then the next thing was that same horn with the S for standard pipe. And then the next horn was the original 88H uh, with that same 66 bell and the slide that came with it. And the next horn was this 1934 Con 8H with an 8 inch bell and the M Marcellus pipe in it. Uh, well, actually a different one, but an M pipe in it. And um, then that same horn with the S standard pipe in it. So, um, here's my story of how I came to sell those Xenos that you may have seen in my earlier videos, uh, which I used to use um, and switch the slides and bells around for different sounds that I preferred and for different types of work that I would do. And now those are sold and I do the same idea with this collection of instruments here. So what happened is, first I have a friend who through medical reasons can no longer play and he gave me the 1934 8H. Very generous gift and it had a Shires 2 lead pipe in it at the time. Just not soldered or anything, just um, hanging out in there. And right around the same time that happened, a student of mine was selling this Con 88H in pretty great condition and she had been marching with it and had an adapter in it to make it take a small shank mouthpiece. So we took that out and found that this horn played just great. Um, and so those two things happened right around the same time. And um, for the change that I was getting out of those, I liked it better than what I had been doing with the Xenos. Um, regarding the small horn, the 8-inch, 88H, um, it takes a large shank mouthpiece, which is how I like to do commercial work. Um, it's just less of a shift for me than going to a small shank uh, mouthpiece. So that's all good news for me. The problem with the 88H and the original slide the way it came was that they come with Remington shanks. Oh, I should have. I don't have one here to show in this video, but... Um, Back in the day, those slides were made to receive Remington mouthpieces and the taper on the shank of those is a little different. And so when I put my mouthpiece in that slide, it rocks a little bit. And I actually missed a couple notes in a concert because of that problem And I, as I was trying to use this horn and get used to it. So what eventually I did was, um, not me, but the repair guy, um, made a better suggestion to me than what I thought was gonna happen. I thought we were going to yank that lead pipe and put a new one in um, to have a standard receiver and take any modern mouthpiece. But what he did instead is he shaved a little bit of the inside of where the mouthpiece goes and did it a nice careful job to take any modern mouthpieces and then the horn didn't need surgery. It's fine the way it is, and I'm so happy because I get to play on all the original parts of that 1966 horn. So that's what we did with that. Um, in addition, I purchased a um, dual bore slide that you saw in the video because there's some concern that the con with its original slide wouldn't be good for all orchestral section situations. And the larger slide is with the M pipe is actually what I prefer using in the section. Um, although I think the original horn as it was has more color with the slide that came with it um, and is real more interesting as a solo instrument. Although I haven't heard this video yet. Um, anyway, that's my feeling as a player that the dual bore slide and that M pipe is just great uh, in the section. It bridges this gap nicely between, I play second where I work now, so it uh, bridges the gap nicely between bass and first. 
Um, that M pipe that I'm using is one that um, it took seven different M pipes to choose the best one for that horn and the best one for the 1934 horn where I use the M pipe and sometimes the S for what I would consider a more vintage sound. So those are removable and I can just slide those in and out and I like doing that on the 1934 horn. Uh, what else is there to say about this? The, um, s or the slide, um, the dual bore slide was supposed to come with three lead pipes, the M, the S, and the R. The R is for the Remington receiver, which I didn't need, and the M is for that Marcellus pipe, and S for standard, and so the guy at the shop let me mix and match and not take the R, so that was real nice of him. And as a result, I got the two M's I needed for two horns and an S just as a toy to sometimes put in uh, either one that I prefer. So that's sort of my story of uh, how I ended up with these cons and the choices that I made. I'm real curious to hear the sounds here myself and see what I think. Um, hope it was fun for you to hear. You know what I'll do? After this video, I will put some advice Although it's a little bit of a different topic, I'll put some advice on choosing equipment if you're going uh, to a shop and choosing from several trombones. So I'll type something up and put a PDF uh, after this video. Enjoy!